So I've had mini splits in my house for about 10 years now and uh, the fan is starting to get really loud. So that's about the peak of the sound. Ever present in the background. It's pretty annoying. And it's the bearings in the motor which have dried up or whatever make a lot of noise. So I got my replacement and listen to it. Nothing. Makes no noise. So these motors, uh, the one I bought was like $104 plus shipping, $120. You know, they're, they're somewhere in that range, $120. Bucks. And if it's just bearings that are bad, I like to uh, see what it takes to open these up and, and replace or lubricate the bearings. <laughs> it sure does. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> it just falls apart in your hand. Okay, okay, this is going to be very repairable. The motor itself, you know, all the windings and everything are just like completely sealed in here. And what's nice about this is they're not pressed on. Everything just slides right in. It'll be easy, easy repair. <laughs> this is so doable. Now we just got to look for the uh, these numbers online and see where we can source these bearings from. All right, so I went to Purvis Bearing and uh, they didn't have shielded bearings, but they have these with the you know the, the sealed bearings with the rubber, and so it's not exactly what we needed. They would have had to ship them in from Dallas, and it'd take a couple days. I didn't want to wait. <laughs> and and what's interesting is is these are the bearings that go in roller skates and um, skateboards. So if you have a skate shop, you could go get the bearings you need to to make your your mini split quiet. <laughs> which is kind of hilarious let's just put this thing together pull this out again i'm gonna pull one bearing off here well these are a little bit tighter I'm having trouble getting that one to seat all the way i'm just gonna give it a little tappy tap so inside the motor you want to make sure that you still have the little uh piece of metal thing this a sort of corrugated <laughs> washer drop that in there and then the the back side is the short side so drop that in there we'll put this on top then we'll uh hammer it into place so what i'm going to use is a large uh one and three quarter inch socket i'm going to just hammer around the edges here that is seated very nicely in there let's see if we're still oh it feels like it's new Oh, that feels pretty good. No in play at all. The plate's doing its job. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And it's silent. Other than my fingers. <laughs> For 10 bucks. Those bearings are $5 each uh, from Purvis Bearing. And they're, they're expensive because they, they sell, you know, very high quality bearings. I bet if you're fixing this with uh, roller skate bearings, uh, you could fix it for like $1.25. Neat. All right, so I just took out uh, this unit from my bedroom. And we're gonna <laughs> install the one we just put new bearings in. I got the fan motor out, so I'm just gonna clean it. It's a great time to do that. So getting the motors in here, in and out, isn't real, real easy. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of flex in the system. I just sort of forced it past like that. And I'll leave it kind of jackknifed at an angle because the motor has to plug into the end and I get up on my ladder. And with all this solid plastic mounting, you, know, you can't stab it straight into the motor. I sort of have it at an angle rooting around, struggling to get it in there. This is a, a nasty process of struggle and 
sorrow. the first time I did it. I didn't slam it in there like that. But uh, there's bushings on the end. These do not fix your noise. But I had bought one. I bought two of them thinking they would before I discovered it was the motor that makes all the noise. I slip this bushing on the end, push it onto its little space over here. Then we got a couple things to do. We need to line up the, uh, the screw with the set. That looks pretty good. So there's a, a flat part on the shaft that lines up with the screw. Jackknife that in there and uh, clip it in so it holds it in place. Now with the screwdriver, I'm going to set the, the gap on this thing just a little bit. I'll adjust it later. So we won't lose alignment <laughs> with the set screw now. Uh, so the, the wires on the motor, they push back at an angle like this, and then it comes up into this uh, you know, power control unit or whatever, and it plugs into something like that. So that's, that's pretty good on this side. Yeah, but that's the tricky part, just getting, getting the, uh, the, the thing in there. And once, once this comes down where it's supposed to be, it won't make all those crazy noises anymore. But that's all I'm going to show on the installation. All right, so I have it on the PO, which means it's blowing as hard as it can. And it only sounds like airflow. So we fixed it. <laughs> Good. Okay, well that's great to know. You can, you can fix these to stop them from making that terrible noise for uh, just the price of bearings. And I bought really good ones from a, a store that has a lot of markup and it cost me 10 bucks. Uh, I didn't get the right ones. You want those shielded bearings. I'm gonna put parts and everything in a you know, description box or a comment or something. But uh, yeah, if, if your mini split's making noise uh, and, and you feel comfortable taking it apart a bit, you can, you can fix it for, uh, it cost me $10 and 81 cents to fix this one after tax. So hope that helps somebody. All right, y'all be good. See ya.